Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can improve label texturing in Blender. Uh, I'm going to use really simple techniques. So I already pre-made this label, it's just uh, basically a plane, subdivided plane, and I'm going to cover it a bit later why it has uh, so many polygons. I'm going to give it a new material and I'm going to call it label for instance. So I have a default shader here and let me just drag and drop this texture right here I'm gonna connect it to the base color so currently we see nothing and I'm gonna add mapping and texture coordinate nodes so let me see how the UV looks like let me just switch to front view and I'm gonna choose project from view I'm gonna increase it like so and I'm gonna switch from repeat to extent. And I'm gonna connect alpha to alpha input in principle BSDF shader. So now it looks like that. I'm gonna switch back to camera view. Let me just make it slightly bigger, probably overall. Maybe like that. Yeah, that looks better, I guess. Let me check again. Let me switch back to camp view. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. We can make certain adjustments here. Uh, like, change roughness, make it metallic, bring in more metallic. But it's not really flexible, right? So, I'm just, what I'm going to do, I'm simply, I'm going to simply duplicate this label and I'm going to add mix shader here and I'm going to connect both materials to mix shader like this. So, and I'm going to connect color and alpha as well. So at first glance, nothing has changed and that is true. I'm going to duplicate this texture again. And I'm going to make a copy of that. And let me add a color ramp here. I'm going to connect it like this. So basically, this is just a mask. And I'm going to use this mask. I'm going to connect it to the factor output here. And I'm going to connect material output to mix shader. And probably I want to make it kind of more bring in more contrast like so and if I'm gonna make any adjustments here like I'm gonna add metallic less roughness maybe it's not visible from that angle but let me see again here's the original texture here's the second texture and Let's say I'm going to make it full metallic and bring in some roughness like so. And again, I'm going to active, I'm going to activate mix shader. And now as you can see that the letters, basically all white parts are visible. They are related to this texture. So maybe let's add a bit more contrast to this mask. So yeah, it looks like this, and let me just add a bit of metallic here, and make bring in more roughness. So yeah, I guess now the difference kind of more noticeable. This is the original texture, this is the second texture, and that's how we mix them together. So like if I decrease roughness, let's say I want to make this part a bit more reflective, so I just decrease roughness make it like this but let's leave it like that for now and instantly it looks way more interesting than the original label in my opinion another great thing is that we can add mm, some noise texture to the to the first uh, to the first material like let's add bump as well I'm gonna connect factor to Eight, and so I'm gonna increase scale, Let's put 200 for instance. 
All right, something like that. And I'm going to connect it to this material. And as you can see that we don't see this bump map on the second material. And that is really cool. We can just let me decrease strength to like maybe 0.5 and distance to like 0.5, maybe even less. Let me check again. Yeah, just a subtle, subtle bump map like that, so the original material looks like that. We would have this bump map on the on the letters as well and on some other parts of the label, but now they are separated and we can adjust them independently. We can also add some uh, roughness map for this reflective part. I had the other texture, it's basically the same texture, but it's, it's uh, it's black and white grayscale and it's slightly blurred as well. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here and then I'm going to add displacement. I'm going to connect color to height and connect it here. So that looks fine. We check it a bit closer. So probably I want to add subdivision surface modifier I want to make it even more smooth probably let me just try by the way let me check the there's only bump only mode so we have to choose displacement and bump to see the actual displacement yeah and obviously I have to lower the scale let me see looks like that i'm gonna add more samples here like maybe even four try this here that looks better maybe i want to subdivide this plane one more time like this The scene is starting to slow down. <laughs> so let's try 25 here. Yeah, maybe something like that. It now stands out just enough, I think. Let me show you the difference. So this is how it looks like with the displacement map and without it. So it's going to be completely flat like this. And again, I'm going to connect it to the material output. And that's how it looks like now. Let me switch to... By the way, you can see there are some jagged edges here and there if you zoom in really close. Uh, you can fix this by using 16-bit images. I have a video on my channel about bump maps, but it also this method is also applicable for, for displacements. Alright, so this is the view from the camera. That's how our label looks for now. And to actually emphasize the uh, this design, we can add like let's try let's try to add one more light source here. We're gonna add area light, make it smaller like this, and put it somewhere here. above the about the label going to decrease the power of this light source let's try maybe five i'm going to highlight these edges like on the top for instance so just decrease the power even more maybe like that so we see some highlights on the top makes difference right so yeah maybe we can make it slightly brighter and again we can go back to the shader editor and adjust the first principal BSDF. 
it's not really responsive with the displacement map, right? So I'm gonna bring roughness to one. This is a really flexible approach, I think, because you can stack as many shaders as you want. All you have to do is just to duplicate the mix shader, connect it here and add the other mask here and add the other shader and so on and so forth, basically. You can duplicate it again and again. So yeah, and you can also, don't forget that you can create custom, uh, custom masks. Like in this case, we use the original texture just converted to uh, black and white via color ramp, but you can also just create uh, a mask for the label only, for example, and then add uh, custom bump maps or roughness maps, whatever. So uh, I hope, guys, it was helpful. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please drop them in the comments. And please uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button to help me to make more videos like this and I'll see you in a bit.